This is a two by four. It's also a skateboard until the 60s when shapes start to look more like surfboards. 1969, Larry Stevenson invents the kicktail. He patents it, then fails to protect it, which is good. Also, tic-tacking. Early 70s, wood boards turn plastic, bright, bright yellow plastic. So they're called banana boards. Late 70s, wider boards are introduced to accommodate the wave of innovation in pool skating. Wide boards peak at the turn of the decade, as both Dogtown and Alva arrived at what came to be known as the Pig, a 10-inch monster board with little to no shape. Mid to late 80s, a soy hammerhead takes the world by storm. Every pro hoping to eat needed a signature shape that would differentiate their model from the rest. Fashion over function quickly becomes the driving force behind other shapes, ultimately resulting in some of the least functional, albeit cool-looking, skateboards ever made. Late 80s culminated with the crown prince of non-functional boards and possibly the least skatable skateboard ever made, the notorious Misfits Coffin. Street skating, switch skating, kick flips. Mike Mullally's 1989 barnyard board does away with a nose altogether, which was commonly called the double tail. Chuck, your take? <clears throat> but his nose was not as long as a tail. It was still, they, they still couldn't quite get to that jump that, of a completely symmetrical skateboard. He still had it kind of squared out. He just couldn't get it, you know, so. And even though I didn't even ride these things yet, I just, did what I thought was right, and that's what happened. So the death of shapes was my fault, I'm sorry. We forgive you, Chuck. To me, the shape board isn't so much a function thing, really. It's just like cars. Cars started out round and kind of simple, and then they had their stylish period where they had fins and this and boom, and everybody was enjoying that for a while. And it was rad, but they realized that that was a very inefficient way to make a car. And slowly, cars turned into like a bar of soap because that's the most functional way for a car to be. Skateboards did exactly the same thing. Thanks, Chuck. Late 90s. The popsicle is the norm. It shrinks, it grows, but it doesn't really change. Or does it?